sixth grade module one lesson 19 problem set victor was having a hard time deciding which new vehicle he should buy he decided to make the final decision based on the gas efficiency of each car a car that is more gas efficient gets more miles per gallon of gas when he asked me the manager at each car dealership for the gas mileage data he received two different representations which are shown below vehicle one a legend vehicle two a supreme if Victor based his decision only on gas efficiency, which car should he buy? Provide support for your answer. So let's start with the legend. So the legend, for every four gallons of gas, he gets 72 miles. Let's figure out how many miles he would get with one gallon of gas. So one, two, three, four gallons of gas gets 72 miles. So this is gallons, and this is miles. So in order to figure out how many miles you get with one gallon of gas, let's take 72 and split it into four equal parts. Four goes into seven one time. One times four is four. We get 32, four goes into 32 eight times. That's 32. So we can say that this gets 18 miles per gallon. So the legend equals 18 miles per gallon. Now the Supreme, let's use a different color. The Supreme, it's three gallons is 50 miles. So three gallons equals 50 miles. But we wanna know what one gallon would be. So let's split that. We could do another double line graph and we know that three gallons is 50 miles. So if we wanted one gallon, let's take that 50 and divide it into three equal parts. Three goes into 20. Let's see, three times six is 18. Three times seven would be too big. So minus 18, we'd have two. And there's nothing to bring down, so we have 16 and two-thirds miles. So we can say that the Supreme gets 16 and two-thirds miles per gallon. So if he's basing it on gas efficiency, he should buy the Legend because he's going to get further. It gets more miles per gallon, so he's going to be able to travel further. So Victor should buy the Legend. Because it gets... See, the difference between 16 and 2 thirds and 18 would be 1 and 1 third miles per gallon more than the Supreme. Number two, after comparing the Legend and the Supreme, Victor saw an advertisement for a third vehicle, the Lunar. The manager said that the Lunar can travel about 289 miles on a tank of gas. If the gas tank can hold 17 gallons of gas, is the Lunar Victor's best option? Why or why not? So let's figure out the Lunar, how many miles per gallon it would get. So it gets 289 miles and can hold 17 gallons of gas. So let's see how much one gallon would gas, uh, how much one gallon of gas can take us. So let's do 289 divided by 
17. So 17 can't go into 2, and it can go into 28 one time. Get 11, bring down the 9. How many times can 17 go into 119? Well, 17 times 10 would be 170. So 17 times 9 and 8 would probably be too big. Let's try 17 times 7. 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 4 is, oh, perfect, 119. So it can go in 7 times, and 7 times 17 was 119, so we have nothing left over. That means that the lunar gets 17 miles per gallon. But if you remember, the legend got 18 miles per gallon, and the Supreme got 16 and two-thirds. And we said that the Legend was the best deal at 18 miles per gallon. The Lunar gets 17 miles per gallon. So we want to know, is the Lunar Victor's best option? So I'm going to say it is not. No, because the Legend gets... 18 miles per gallon, which is 1 miles per gallon more than the lunar.